It's a crime shame. It's terrible. And the people need to see this. Chris Hernandez drives home a common gripe here. This is the whole coast of Grain Isle, seven and a half miles of beach. Every day more oil hits this coastline, resentment deepens with a muck. Where is the sense of urgency? Where is the cavalry? Look at this island. There is nobody here. There's not a cleanup crew here. Cleanup crews are here up and down Grand Isle Beach. We're going to fill up the rest of our bags. 1,100 people in all work on Grand Isle's cleanup, but only 250 of them are in hazmat suits, shoveling oil off this seven-mile beach, the so-called hot zone. The hot zone is where there's the uh, oil impact. But cleanup coordinators say crews can work only 20 minutes of every hour. Due to the, the heat and the humidity, we have to give people a break. It's the number one safety issue when working in this environment. In an even harsher environment, a mile under sea, BP says its latest fix is working. Its new containment cap over the broken wellhead is sucking more oil to a surface ship. 250,000 gallons on Friday, 441,000 gallons or 10,000 barrels on Saturday. But many scientists believe much more oil is still bleeding into the Gulf every day. We have a further containment uh, system to implement in the course of this coming week, which will be uh, in place by next weekend. But all that's too late to stop the millions of gallons already floating in the Gulf. And in places like Grand Isle, places in the bullseye of the blob, cleanup crews could work 24-7. But the damage is already done. Chris Hernandez found another sad reminder of the oil's impact. Oh no, look at this. Oh gosh. Oh, poor thing. Hold on, little bird. Hold on, it's heartbreaking, man. You know, what's this bird survivor rate? He's just a baby. And remember, that bird came from the main beach here where cleanup crews work every day. All this water can make it tough to get around here, and those crews have yet to even set foot on many of the barrier islands around here where you'll find most of the oil pelicans and other wildlife. Russ? Hmm. Mark Strassman in Grand Isle, Louisiana. Thank you very much.